Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug, and today we're going to be talking about the importance of record in NBA 2K19. Does it matter? Does it matter a little bit? Does it matter at all? What is the importance of a record and why do people try so hard to have a nice record? So you might think that the reason why I like to go for a good record is that I get more subscribers or make more money off having a good record. I don't even think people look at my record and they're like, oh, I got to subscribe to him for that. I don't think that that's what people do. So no, that's not a reason why I go for a very nice record. As you can see, I have a 95 win percentage. It's pretty good. Most people would say that it's an elite type of record. And they would say that I'm up there with most of the best records in the entire game But no, I don't go for a good record for money or for people to subscribe I go for a good record because I compete I haven't talked about record in a while and every time I talk about it It gets really toxic because there's people that are always like oh badge plug All you do is play twos man twos is easy if I played twos I'd have a 95 win percentage too and my response to that is you're right I do play a lot of twos, but I don't only play twos I play twos because the games are a lot faster and I rarely ever have three people to run with I usually only have one person online that I can play with that's good Regardless of the fact that I've literally showed like over a hundred games of me playing threes, people still say, oh, all you do is play twos. And on top of all that, you're wrong. You have a 6'8 small forward rebounding defender, okay? You're not going to get a 95 win percentage playing on any court. So since I played twos so much, I have 25 games of Park After Dark from last night to show you guys. Now, I'm not going to be showing you guys all 25 games today, but you're going to see a lot of them. Which, by the way, do you guys see this fire outfit that I have on? This is the first time that I've played Park After Dark, and I bought these clothes like two months ago when the game first came out. So I don't know how many park after dark events that i missed but i bought these clothes and i've only played park after dark one time so i feel kind of dumb about that now before we dive into do records matter in nba 2k19 last night like i said i played about 25 park after dark games even after park after dark i played about five more i went like 29 and 0 or 30 and 0 last night on the threes court so for you people that comment oh man twos don't take no skill well here's me mostly isoing in every single game on the threes court tell me how you like that so the first argument is does record matter depending on what you play so if you're a twos player does does your record matter more or less than someone that plays on the threes court? To which I can very easily answer now, no. Because I've played hundreds of games on the threes court and I've played hundreds of games on the twos court and I've won games at an elite level on each court. Honestly, I have a better win percentage playing on the threes court. I rarely lose when I play threes. Now you guys can put your comments and your opinions down below about that, but I'm telling you, man, twos and threes is not a difference in win percentage. As long as you're playing with the right people, as long as you're actually good at the game, you can win efficiently on both courts. Although twos is a more efficient game where you have to just get the ball in the hoop, I would honestly say that the threes court is easier because you have so many chances to win on the twos court if you give up the ball you could very very likely not get the ball back for the rest of the game on the threes court you can get multiple turnovers you can miss but you can get the ball right back and you can come down the, the court and score very easily now something that does contradict that is you have three players instead of two so you need three brains to be good better than two brains also even though the court is bigger there is less passing lanes so you get more steals you get all that type of stuff but i honestly think that both courts are even in terms of how often you can win when it comes to win percentage there's so many factors that determine if someone will have a good win percentage or if they have a bad win percentage in my opinion a good win percentage is at least 80 to 90 somewhere in there and then I would say anything above 90 is winning at an elite level but like I said there's so many factors that go into if you're going to be having a good win percentage or not you can have really bad connection and lag out of a bunch of games you can be playing events and lag out of a bunch of events like I have I know I still have a 95 win percentage but I have at least 20 losses from lagging out and ruffles and gold rush and court conquer and all that type of stuff you can be very good at the game and then every single person you play with is not as good so they hold you back and you have a worse win percentage you can be very good at the game and not be lagging out but still have a bad connection and that holds you back because you miss a lot of shots due to latency or anything that has to go with defense like not being able to guard your opponent on time because your screen is behind all that type of stuff so almost every time you look at someone's record it doesn't directly correlate to how many exactly wins they have and how exactly many losses they have like my record i don't know what it was in the beginning it's like nine 980 wins and 52 losses well if you took like 20 of those off i'd probably have like a 96 97 win percentage but every other person goes through the same things that i do with lagging out and stuff some people lag out more than other people some people do not when you look at someone's win percentage it does not directly correlate to how good or bad they are at the game because you don't know how many factors have went into their record being good or bad but i will say guys that if you have like a 70 win percentage you're probably near the skill level of a 70 win percentage you know what i'm saying is you don't look at someone's record and they have a 25 win percentage and then they hop on the court and they just destroy you now in this game i have literally lost to people with negative records and i promise you if they pulled back up they would get beat i'd beat them 99 out of 100 times but those people are the type of people to comment oh badge book 
oh, I have a negative record and I beat you. It means nothing. You're not good. You're trash. Don't listen to those people. Don't ever listen to those people. They Just let them keep losing. So if you have a 70 win percentage and someone invites you to a squad that has a 65 win percentage, comment down below, would you join their squad and play with them? While looking at their stuff, what would make you not play with them or what would make you play with them? I would say that the very most important things to check are if they're a shooter, check their three point percentage right away. Guys, I'm telling you, I've played with some 90 win percentages that are sharpshooters or stretches and their three point percentage, if I would have looked before, I would have not played with them. Because then you also have people that have good win percentages because they run from people and they get carried, which is another factor into the win percentage that you have to make sure, well, you really can't know right away, but you will know once you get on the court with somebody that has a quote unquote good win percentage and then they're just trash. I made a video about a month ago saying that 2K19 is dying. And in that video, I said the reason why it's dying is because so many people are running from games and not playing people. And yes, that still happens, but 2K put in the game where you get a lot more opponent strength for beating people that are higher rep than you. So that, in my opinion, throughout me playing through my experience has helped a lot since they did that. But I'm telling you, there is still so many people that when I hop on the court, they hop off. And I know people for a fact that hop off and they'll see somebody on the spot that's good or see somebody good that's pulling up and hop off, which is really, really sad, guys. You're not going to get better if you do not play good people. It's like this. Say you play Call of Duty, right? And you go to private match and you put the little bots on your team. Do that little thing where you're playing against the bots, right? If you sit there for eight hours and you're killing bots on rookie difficulty, you're not going to go into multiplayer and drop nukes. Just like on 2K, if you're playing on rookie difficulty in my career, you're most likely not going to make any improvements at all. So if you're like a pro two or a pro three on 2K and you're running from people that are near your skill level or elites or something, those people you're running from are not the people that are suffering. You are suffering. You are not wanting to get better. You are the one that your game is suffering and you're not going to get any better at the game from playing bums. Now there could be even more factors into why people have good win percentages or why people have bad. So far we have lag outs, we have connection, we have people they play with, and we have people that run from comp. A comp, if you guys don't know what that means, is just short for competition, which means good players. So you could very well match up against someone that has a 70 win percentage or play with them and they could be much better than someone with a 90 win percentage because that person with the 90 win percentage, every time they see anyone good pull up on them, they just hop off the court. Now you guys know me, man. I'll play anybody that hops on the court. I never hop off the court because, oh, someone good is on the spot. If you guys see me playing, I appear online a lot, by the way, so make sure you guys add me. Badge plug YT, no spaces on Xbox. Make sure you guys add me. If you ever see me hop off the court, it's because I'm done or I'm taking a break or something. I'm not hopping off the court because, oh, I don't want to play somebody. Oh my, that person might beat me. I can't play them. Now, with me being a YouTuber and me showing you guys almost every single game that I play, there was comment after comment at the beginning of the year saying, oh, badge, you get carried, and people saying, oh, you get carried, right? Even though if you go back to the very beginning of the year, I was averaging 11 points per game. Now, I know this is very hard math for the people that comment that, but 11 points, you know, it only takes 21 points to win the game. So I'm scoring more than half the points to win the game, meaning me and my teammate are scoring very efficiently to win the game. So I took those comments and I'm like, okay, I'm getting carried, right? So for like the last 500 games, you guys can go back. I'm rarely taking screens anymore. I'm mostly ISOing for most of my games. Just to show people that I don't need screens to win. I don't need anything but myself to win the game. It does take a lot more skill to ISO this year because of the stamina. But I'm telling you guys, once you get used to it, it's not that bad. I do, however, suggest that you do the Gatorade glitch if you want that extra stamina. Anyway, so now we're to the point where I say, does record matter or not? But it only matters to a certain extent for most circumstances. Like I said, you guys can find a 90 win percentage, you can play with them, or you can match up against them, and as soon as you play with them or match up against them, they're not as good as they look. And that can be because of multiple reasons. They get carried, or they run from comp, anything like that. So yes, record does matter, and it definitely does determine if a person is good or not usually don't let these people say oh you have a cheese build that's why you're good at the game blah blah don't let them say that people literally act like you're supposed to be using a slashing defender or something to win your game if you win with any build in the game efficiently then you're good at the game not everybody can use a pure stretch big and shooting people's faces and win games not everybody can be a pure shot creator and have a 95 win percentage although having a better build does help you win more efficiently you'll have to be good at the game to win and why would you not use a build that helps you win more efficiently if you're a competitor so don't ever let those people tell you otherwise guys make sure to comment down below your opinions and let me know does record matter because to me record does matter a lot like to me my record matters because i earned my record i don't run from people i don't do any of that type of stuff i play the game and most of my games now over half of my games are mostly me isoing and winning the record does matter but record does also not matter at the exact same time depending on the situation depending on the circumstance you can be playing with someone who's really good and they're not good because they run from comp or you could play with someone who has like a 50 win percent 
percentage and they're better than someone that has an 80 or 90 win percentage because they do play comp and they do get better because of playing those people now at the same time it's not impossible to beat someone that has a 95 win percentage if you have a 50 win percentage it happens all the time but that does not mean that the person with the 50 win percentage is better than the 95 just because you beat someone in one game does not mean that you're better than them because say you have a 50 win percentage and you beat the person with the 95 but then you lose your next five games and the guy with the 95 wins their next 10 games who's really actually better at the game anyway guys that is it for the rest of the video if you are new make sure to hit the subscribe button drop a like let's get to 3,000 likes on this video if we can get to 3,000 likes i'll do another giveaway in my next video and i've been doing giveaways in every single video but you have to be in the notification gang and be subscribed to know how to enter in those because only people that have on my notifications know how to enter in the giveaway because when i upload title of the video is how to enter and then about five to ten minutes later i change so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button it's your boy badge plug you have been plugged in leave your opinions down below please i'd like to see if you guys think record matters or not you have been plugged in and i'm out peace